Oh, Kale. Oh, now there's a name I haven't heard in a while. You came to the right person. Let me tell you her whole story, starting right from the very beginning, with all the delicious details. When I first met Mika, he seemed like the nervous type, so I decided to joke around with him a little. I didn't count on that making him even more nervous. His smile looked as if it were plastered onto his face, and in the end, he even wrote me a letter of apology. <laughs> Does taking everything so seriously run in the Schmidt's blood? in touch with anyone from the academia since leaving Sumeru, except for the occasional letters to my teachers out of basic courtesy. Fortunately, not every promising student turned out as lazy as I am. I heard that one of my juniors, Sino, now leads quite the action-packed life. Ah, oh, dear little Kale. Every time she writes to me, she tries out new words and expressions she's learned recently. <laughs> no wonder she's improving so quickly. That wonderful and warm-hearted master of hers must have helped a lot, too. I do rather envy Huffman for having such a caring little brother. Mika takes care of everything around the house, and even looks after him when he's drunk. Ah, oh, how nice it must be to lounge around all day without a care in the world. Hmm? What do you mean I already do that? You're getting quite bold these days, aren't you, cutie? Thank you. 